Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Hello again beautiful beings, we are back to talk more about money. To help you reorient, revise and upgrade your relationship. The new way you are already beginning to think about money has actually put your body on notice. Do you feel it? It has put those congested energies on notice. You have withdrawn your decision to maintain certain fields in your body. As a result of this you may find you experience drainage. This may have a quite physical manifestation because you will be draining the energy out of these old patterns because you're not committed to pursuing them any longer. You're not amplifying them with your focus as you allow yourself to truly let yourself let go of these things. Just knowing that by that clear slate decision you made yesterday, you have put all of these parts of your energy field on notice. You are taking your focus off of old patterns and pathways of consciousness flowing. There will be increasingly more and more space. This wide open spaciousness, which we are so intent upon assisting you in moving into, it is this wide open spaciousness which is truly so native to you. For in this spaciousness you can truly choose freely what you wish to know and experience. The exhilaration of that choosing, and also the joyful experience of connecting to the many demonstrations of these delicious choices, this is what you came here for. Each of you is a decision-making, energy-focusing, point of consciousness. Conscious focus is where it's at the new experience of money. That's where it is. It's in the experience of consciously focusing. It is in the choosing that you truly experience the most profound upliftment and joy. Once you begin to really realize that it's the choosing your focus, which is creative, it's the choosing what you think about, what you pay attention to, which is your act of creativity, you will enjoy the choosing more. We're going to say this again because we really want you to get this. The moment of creating what you want is the paying attention to it. If you really get that, then the act of imagining or paying attention to the things you want becomes so exquisitely exhilarating. In choosing you have already set your life a sail in new directions. It's really the choosing, the conscious focusing, which is everything. Which is everything. It creates a momentum which continues to develop. As you continue to focus upon something that you want, you develop the nuances of your choices and that propels the choice into multiple realized experiences in your life. We want you to really see that the act of creativity is the choosing and that it does happen immediately when you choose, anything and everything. It's interesting to ponder how you feel when you are choosing, because this is very important to having what you consider to be the manifesting experience of this. Do you feel good? Do you feel the deliciousness of that thing you are choosing? Can you allow yourself to actually choose and create rather than being in a state of lack and complain? This is a very subtle yet important difference. Let us explain it to you. When you are having an experience you don't like, you are so aware of what you don't want and don't have. In that moment you are strongly longing for what you do want. It's a creative moment but it's almost creative by default because you're not really choosing something you want out of spaciousness. You are feeling very much what you don't like and that is inherently making you keenly aware of what you do want. If you were to take a moment like that and open it up just a little bit by allowing yourself to then consciously decide what you want, you would do two very important things. You would be cultivating your ability to intentionally focus your consciousness. You would be more consciously involved in shaping what you want. You would feel good. You would feel good. You would immediately have a demonstration that you have actually created something because the feeling is the manifestation. It's the first manifestation of your new experience. You would be enjoying the moment of choice because that delicious feeling state is the first connection in the material of you with what you've manifested. The feeling state is the indicator of your alignment with what you want. Right? This is pure Abraham to say this to you, this pure law of attraction stuff. The feeling state is the first indicator that not only have you created something but you're in alignment with it. So you can experience it. 
the rest is going to open up and unfold very easily. You see, dear friends, consciousness is where it's it. It's all happening in consciousness. The material, as you think of it, the outer world, that which you call manifest reality, is just a further demonstration. It's a further demonstration of what you've already created. We want you to start to relate to your emotions as the first manifestation of what you're focusing upon, having been created. Your emotions are your indicators of your alignment, right? Your emotions, when you're thinking about something you want and you feel wonderful exhilaration in the thinking about it, are already a manifestation from allowing yourself to consciously focus on things you want to experience. Isn't the way you feel what it's all about to you? Don't you want to have an incredibly great feeling life? Do you think your whole desire to experience a revised relationship to money is because it would be fun, because it would feel good, because it would be enjoyable? Yes. You are consciousness and consciousness is where it's it. It's really important that you realize it's not just once. It's not just once but over and over and over and over again in the way that you relate to who you are which is consciousness, and how you are moving through the moments of your life. When you look at the world, you are creating through your focus, but in kind of a default, unconscious way. When you look at the world and feel what you don't like, you are doing that create by default thing. It works. But it's so much harder for you to then have the manifest experience. Because you're creating and you're not in alignment with what you want, which is why you don't feel good. Because you're focusing upon what you don't want, you're not a vibrational match for what you do want. So even though you're creating it, the actual demonstrated experience, beginning with feeling it, isn't happening. To be a vibrational match for what you want, it helps so much to just look at what you want. Look at what you want. Make that your focus, looking at what you want. We've said this before but well say it again. When you have an experience you don't want to have, realize that's what's happening. You can do something very simple by saying to yourself, Oh, something's happening here that I hate. What is it? What is it? Just become aware of it. Then make that little shift. Well then. What do I want to be happening? The minute you do this you start to place your attention on what you do want and you become consciously creative. The way to pay attention to this is how are you feeling. When you're feeling good, when you're feeling exhilarated, then you're thinking about drawing toward you what you want. When you're feeling bad, in a sense, you're actually complaining in a way that you don't have certain things. So it's sort of created by default. You're focused on not having it. You feel bad and you're out of alignment. So even though the broader you is getting the message loud and clear on what you do want, and is already up to speed with what you do want, you're not. You're out of sync with the broader you, which is very important. Because the whole point of being here is to allow the broader you to come forth into your human experience more and more and more. You can see how all of this is very related. We're sharing this pure clear law of attraction stuff for you. We want to put it out there for you because it's essential that you start to get this stuff to actually use the incredible spaciousness that you are creating through your ascension. This is like a fundamental being able to understand these things. We want you to realize your empowerment is in being conscious focusers. We want you to learn to flow energy from within you into the creation in the material. To do this you have to really get that where it's happening is in consciousness. The material world, and all of your action in it, is just an extension of that consciousness. It's just a demonstration, or you often call it a reflection, of your inner state. Yet, and this is where this is all going to start to come together for you, it's just a reflection of your inner state. But it's often what you're looking at. It's what you're focusing on. The reason this last point is so important is that when you're focusing on that material world, or that material thing, or that manifest experience that you're having that already exists, you can't make something new happen from that, something you've never experienced. 
because you're looking at what already is. So that's what you're amplifying. To experience money, and anything else, in truly new ways, you've got to spend less time looking at what is and more time imagining and feeling in your consciousness things that you haven't yet experienced. Allow yourself to imagine them in a consciously creative way. Meaning that you allow yourself to do it while you're feeling really good during the imagining. That means you're getting into the experience of these things you want to have come into your life. You're actually having the first stage of the manifestation because you're feeling. Feelings are a manifest experience. You're experiencing the first stages of manifestation because you're having these feelings of the deliciousness of your choices, which means you've created it. It is happening. It's very important that you allow yourself to recognize that the feeling is the first manifestation of it. That's how you know you're creating what you want and that you're capable of receiving it. The feeling is something you've let come forth because of your alignment with you. If it feels good when you think about it, you're creating what you want and you're in alignment with all that you are. We want you to get that you can realize things in your life that have never ever happened before. It is entirely possible to have enormously different experiences that have never happened before. It might be that love relationship that you have fantasized about and never thought was possible. It might be the capacity to do the work you dream of doing because you love spending your time that way but you've never felt confident that it was truly financially viable. It could be anything. That is the truly amazing stuff you came here for, to expand creation. To do this you have to become more skillful at consciously focusing. The way we suggest you do this right now, is to just spend a little time every day imagining things that have never happened before. Use this to expand your capacity to use your focus consciously and creatively. Practice this and feel into them in the most wonderful way for a little while. We encourage you to start doing this. Use each day of your life to spend a little more time practicing consciously focusing. Because changing your experience of money is going to depend on your ability to consciously choose your focus in ways that are different because you want a different money experience. We're starting with this very direct conversation about how to use your focus. Because once we start to talk about all the potentials of money, and what it is, and what it can be, and you start to open up your conversation with money, you are going to want to change everything for yourself. Because you're going to see what's possible. We want you to have the tools that you're going to need to do that. That tool is having a little more capacity to consciously focus. It's not about doing these things perfectly. It's about having a little more ability to consciously choose your focus. As you increase your conscious choice of focus a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, things are going to move. Start there today. Spend a little time, a couple of moments throughout the day. Choose to spend a little time imagining something you've never experienced before that you think would be fun to experience. Be in the imagining of it until you can feel it so deliciously. Let the feeling build a little bit. Then, while it's still feeling good, drop it. Go have fun with something else. Let's see what happens in all that. Lastly, before we go, we remind you. We're going to continually be encouraging you to practice certain things with your focus. This is essential. To get different results you have to do things differently. In spending some time imagining things you've not yet experienced or things which are new for you, you're stretching and changing your energy and thus your life. You're going to discover in these little exercises, like the one we're inviting you to do today, how easy or how hard it is for you to consciously focus on what you want and to consciously focus on something that you haven't yet experienced and feel good while you do this, rather than just looking at what is and allowing what you encounter in the world that already is to be and shape your creative focus. As you discover how easy or how hard it is to consciously focus, and especially to consciously focus on something you maybe haven't experienced yet, be nice to yourself. Realize you're just finding out what your starting point is. Don't let it discourage you if you find it hard to consciously focus or to consciously focus and imagine and feel good while you're doing it. 
it's just where you're starting. Realize with practice you will be an ace at this. In fact, and in an expanded sense, this is a breeze for you. It's just about getting back into this groove while being here in this beautiful human form. Conscious focus is where it's it. To have a new relationship with money begins with using your focus to shape this new experience of money. This is how you get there. Spend time imagining what you've not yet experienced. Have fun doing so a couple of times today. See? We told you it would be easy. I am Archangel Michael.